Would you be my? What's the done, the done, done? I still got a lot of shit to learn. Hey guys, it's Simon Bread and Butter, and welcome back to another video, guys. Today, I have a video of showing you seven different really cool things you can do with wood. Some of them are basic, some of them are really creative and smart. But yeah, guys, let's get straight into the video. The first one we're going to start off is pretty basic, you know, it's just pillars. Um, what I mean pillars, this is like for your inside of your house, like, so it, so it's realistic and like it, it keeps the roof up. Like if you guys look in your house, obviously you have no, or you guys might, I'm not sure what type of house you live in. But um, we have walls, so there's no need for really for pillars. But if we didn't have so much walls within our house and it was just a big empty room, sooner or later, like it depends how big the room is, you need pillars. And uh, me personally, I like my open space when I make a house in Minecraft. So yeah, I mostly have pillars in a lot of my houses. So yeah, guys, here's number one. Um, you can make them. You can make a bunch of different types of pillars, but this is just a normal average pillar I usually use. All right, guys, moving on to number two, a port or a dock i don't know i don't know i call it port i don't know but um these mostly look good over water and it's just like a walkway over like above the normal surface and it make it just makes you feel elevated you're a little more safe from zombies and stuff and this like i said it looks really good when you make it over a lake but you guys can do it like this normally yeah i just added this because i had no like this is the last thing i added out of all of them but i just wanted to add one more so yeah, there's nothing really too much. What you guys just have to do is like build slabs and then about every few blocks or a corner, you would like to build up and then like build up with oak wood. So, you know, it like it supports the wood. And if you guys wanted to, to even make it more realistic, which I didn't, I probably should have do that. So it's kind of looks like it's like holding it up. It's kind of hard to do from my position, but yeah, just put it like all in all the corners. But you guys know what I mean. You guys can do this if you want to or not. This one's just kind of a filler. <clears throat> but number two, here we go. Um, it's like logs around a like logs around a fire, and this is just normal. Like, or it doesn't have to be around a fire, but like it's it's supposed to be like a little campfire and stuff. And I usually just build these, right? And you really can't really sit on it. But I done this as an experiment, and I put like seats into the log. And guys, I don't know why, but it's so, like, satisfying to me. It looks so good to me. And it's, like, realistic. Because, you know, if, like, if you smoothen out, like, the layer or the surface of a wood, like, that's how we get, like, wooden planks and stuff. Like, that's how this turns into this. Like, if you look on the side. Let's do that. I'm not that good at wood, so don't take my word on. But I'm pretty dang sure that's how it works. Like, when you smoothen this out, it kind of turns into that. But obviously, you have different planks and stuff. But yeah, this is just like really cool and like realistic to me. I'm not sure if it's realistic. I don't know. So I'm just going to, I wouldn't, I'm not hundred percent sure. So I'm just going to say it looks really cool. Like you carved out this so you could sit on it and like sit at the fire <laughs> or you can use this in many different situations, but yeah. So yeah, guys, that's one, two, three, moving on to number four. Number four is like keeping wood, like storage wood. If you guys have watched my really old tutorials, I love doing this in every single one of my survival worlds that gets really big. I always do this. It just looks so good to me. Like, it's wood. Like, let's say, like, you've been saving up on wood. So, like, really, or like, role play aspect. Like, let's say you're role playing and let's say you're uh, saving up wood to build another house or like a barn or a storage unit. I <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, you know, it's just like role play. Like, I've been saving up wood. Here's the wood I have. I got two, like, sets of it. So, yeah, guys, um, there's nothing really too special about it. If you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure you guys know what these are, but. All you have to do is just put rails over this, like over a triangle of wood pointing one direction. And you just put it one over from the end, like one to the right or one to the left of the end. I'm not sure what side you're on. And you just do this, like I'll do an example for you. I'm pretty sure you guys, pretty sure you guys know, but not everybody is a better, not everybody is um, that good in Minecraft. <laughs> so yeah, you do that and then you put it right there and right there. All right, guys. So that was number four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And let's move on to number five. Number five is a new thing that kind of been, in, um, that's a big, <laughs> I didn't want to mess it up. I have a bad, um, like slur or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't even want to say the word. It's something that just been added into the game is cut down the trees. Like here's the chunk of the tree and here's the rest of the tree. But mostly what they don't do, or I've never seen at least, like they do add vines and stuff and put it on the side. But one thing that I've never actually seen is that and what you can do like most of the stuff you won't ever see this like spawned in your world so but you can do obviously <laughs> but you could place down leaves and you could show that this tree has like it's freshly been cut 
and it just fell over and like it's laying down so yeah guys it's pretty simple it adds a lot more detail to the world like if you have a few of these going down like it's it's kind of it's like pretty like it's a cool thing to add to your world all right guys that was i keep on forgetting to count one two three four five that was the fifth thing and now let's move on to sixth thing guys this is um not i wouldn't say obvious but this is one you see a lot especially in youtube uh tutorial or not tutorials and youtube tours like on their worlds it takes a long time but guys what you should do is add custom trees custom trees are so awesome they're kind of hard to do like i have this one over here it's pretty good um i got i made hanging lights but yeah this tree was really cool but imagine having a whole like a whole forest of these then i wouldn't say this like this is just kind of i don't know yeah some people like it some people don't but imagine having like a whole forest of these type of trees. Guys, you cannot lie. It, it would look so cool. But yeah, just like a whole forest of those. Like it, it would make your world a lot better. Like um, if you guys ever heard of World Painter, that's what a lot of people do. They add custom trees into the world. <coughs> but yeah, I would create these type of custom trees like in your backyard or in front of your house. Or if you have a trail. Oh God. <laughs> if you have a trail leading to your house, that would be good. But yeah, guys, also you can add a little buttons and stuff at the end. You guys probably seen this in my last tutorial or one of my last ones. But yeah, you can just add buttons to add more depth. But guys, move on to the last one. This is kind of a bonus. I was planning to end the video right there. But guys, I don't know why, but I spent a lot of time in this tunnel. <laughs> but guys, what you can do, it has no like it has no point. But making structures, like making um like a skeleton. I'm not I forgot the name of it. I'm sorry guys. But making like structure, making like this to hold up the cave like make sure it doesn't collapse on you like if the roof breaks you don't want it falling straight down um i, I can't believe i forgot what it's called but you guys know what it is oh my friend just sent me a message sorry sorry okay that just distracted me but yeah guys you can add like structure and like stuff so it won't fall on you and i don't know why i went so much in the detail in this cave but yeah guys that's the last one hopefully you guys enjoyed comment down below which one of these are your favorite if you guys have any questions comment down below again if you guys like the video, guys, please drop a like. And if you guys want to support me, please drop a like. Because if you guys like, other people see it. So that's truly incredible. You know, the more views, the more subscribers they get. You know, I like subscribers. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, you guys haven't subscribed yet, or is this the first video you're seeing of me, guys, please subscribe. I upload almost daily how to tutorials, tricks, and tricks. Just everything. I upload almost everything you can get on Minecraft. I kind of want to do a let's play. I might be doing that sooner or later. But yeah, guys, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, I can see you guys in the next video. And yep, that's it. Ciao, ciao.